Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, Megan's gonna embroider this golf towel. So stick around to see how I do it. <laughs> So this towel is actually going to be a gift for one of our family members. It is going to be a little golf design, and I think it'll turn out really cool. Ready to get to it? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay, so I'm in Inkscape right now, and I'm going to go to Document Properties under File, and I'm going to change my document properties to a 4x4 hoop size. So now I'm going to go to my Circle tool and make a oval for the grass. And I'm going to make sure to get rid of the stroke and change the color to green. Now I'm going to move it to place. And I'm going to make another circle. This one's going to be the hole. I'm going to change the color to a darker green. I'm going to adjust the size, move it to place. Copy and paste it. Remove the copied version aside. And then I'm going to select the outer oval and the internal oval and then do an exclusion. And then move the copied oval into place. Now I'm going to use my Bezier tool and make the flag pull. And then go to my stroke style. and adjust the stroke. I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. I'm going to change my color. I'm going to adjust where it is and to make that easier, I'll just turn off my snap node tool so it doesn't snap. And then I'm going to go to my Bezier tool and make the actual flag part which is just a triangle. So then I'm going to change the color. Then I'm going to go into my nodes tool and then just adjust the flag a little bit. Then I'm going to make the golf ball Turn it white. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did to the hole where I copied and pasted it and then do an exclusion. So now I'm going to add some lettering by going to extensions and stitch lettering. I'm just going to add some text for a little bit more of a personalized design and take forever to choose a font. <laughs> then I'm just going to adjust where the text is so it will fit inside my hoop. And then I'm going back to the lettering tool to add more text. Move it to place. And then I'm going to select all of the design. Then I'm going to visualize and export and then go to realistic preview so I can see it. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to exit out. Now all I have left to do is save my design. So I'm using this tearaway um, stabilizer to hoop the golf um, towel. We're gonna hoop it. Ta-da! 
so now it's hooped, so now we can go to the machine. So now I'm going to cut off the jump stitches and take off the stabilizer. So we just finished the embroidery and I think it turned out really good. You did a great job, Megan. Thanks. You're all by yourself, too. So Megan, did you come up with any lessons learned out of this project? Yeah, um, I really like how it turned out, but there's one thing I should change is the density so you don't see as much black coming through it, and maybe it'll give a little bit more cleaner of a design. That's a good lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. I like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy.